Taylor Swift once admitted she hated hiding her relationships from the public before spending most of her romance with Joe Alwyn out of the spotlight. To me, it all depends on who you're with. If they have a serious issue with it, then you, I guess, hide or whatever. But I don't really like that Swift, 34, said during a 2012 interview on The Chatty Man, because it makes me feel like I'm running from the law or something. I don't want to feel like I'm a fugitive, like, oh my god, we're having a relationship better put on a mask and stuff. Swift noted that she'd rather just live my life than worry about what others think. I feel like if you can be in a relationship and have it seem normal, that would be good, she said. The pop star's interview came four years before she began dating Alwyn, 32, in 2016. During their nearly six-year relationship, the duo largely chose to lay low, often running to cars to avoid photographers and walking red carpets separately. At the time, Swift claimed that their hyper-privacy was connected to her facing scrutiny after her splits from Calvin Harris and Tom Hiddleston, as well as her feud with Kanye West and Kim Kardashian. I was falling in love with someone who had a wonderfully normal, balanced life, Swift said in her 2020 documentary, Miss Americana, about why she disappeared from the public eye for a year in 2016. We decided together we wanted our relationship to be private. I was happy, but I wasn't happy in the way I was trained to be happy. It was happiness without anyone else's input. We were just happy. Lowen, for his part, spoke out in November 2018 about keeping their romance as quiet as possible someone's private life is. By definition, private, he told British GQ at the time. No one is obliged to share their personal life. Much of Swift's 2017 record, Reputation, reflected this outlook, with songs like Call It What You Want Dress, Dancing With Our Hands Tied, and King Of My Heart containing lyrics about running away together and loving one another outside of public opinion. 2019's Lover was much of the same, however. Eagle-eyed fans did pick up on an underlying sense of anxiety from Swift in some of her lyrics, particularly in songs like Lover The Archer and Afterglow. While much of 2020's folklore was not autobiographical, the song piece detailed the songwriter's worry that her celebrity status could affect her partner's happiness.